Today on Toy Shiz, I'm on guard duty. Ha, <laughs> duty. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins. This is the Eternian Palace Guard, which is billed as a online exclusive for various e-tailers like Entertainment Earth. But the box art on this is amazing, as usual. And now that we got the Eternian Palace Guards, we need some of these uh, skeleton warrior guys. Glow in the dark, preferably. Yeah, it, 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 those look awesome. Two pack of those or something like that, because they are just all over this box and they're just like waiting to have a figure made for them. On the back side of the packaging, again, equally as glorious art. Couple questions though. Who is the blue guy with the skull amulet? Is that Skeletor? I don't know. Also, why is Man at Arms now made of crystal? And why does everyone in Eternia wear super tight tights? Here's how the figure works, in case you've never had an action figure before. And also, just as a heads up, had a couple people write in this prior week, right? And they went to the store Big Lots, if you have a Big Lots by you. And they actually found this figure as well. He was 20 bucks. And I went onto the website and got one for myself. So not only did I have one delivered, right, the same day, Big Lots was like, oh yeah, we have these two. So it worked out, yada yada. But in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Eternian coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins, the Eternian Palace Guard. He's a royal defender. And hey, while I got you guys here, if you are interested in ordering yourself one of these new Eternian Palace Guards, why not grab it off of Entertainment Earth, go up to that search bar and hit Masters of the Universe, or He-Man Masters of the Universe, or He-Man Origins, and bingo bango, it'll pull up all the brand new He-Man Origins and Masters of the Universe figures, including ones you can grab on pre-order, even ones they haven't really even announced yet. And I'll have a really simple, easy link in the description below, but hey, if you wanted to go this route, click on the Eternian Palace Guard, and you get to see all the different photos, and the prices, and the shippings, and all that great stuff. Entertainment Earth, I guarantee you'll find something there that you like. Oh, and speaking of such a figure, here he is out of the packaging, and yeah, he does look pretty dang cool, and I don't typically army build this, but I'm glad I got two of them now. He comes with some extra armor pieces. Now, you get standard palace guard, or you can make the man-at-arms without his mustache, basically. That's what the extra head is. No paint on any of these weapons. It's just classic He-Man attire and the sitch. And he also comes with a scare glow weapon. What is it called? A halberd or something like that. Nicely done. It's got little marks and stuff where he's been uh, chopping people up or guarding, whatever he does. But it's a very malleable halberd, I'll say that. He also comes with a shield. We've seen these a dozen times. Not much to it, but it does fit around his hand. And you get the Cotton Hill... <laughs> face portrait that's thanks to a bunch of people in my comments on instagram they totally called that so well done that made me laugh and i mean it's painted nicely it's just the standard man at arms head minus said mustache and of course the figure itself is pretty darn cool i like all the different armor effects that he's got going on he's a lot more armored up than the prior releases man at arms figure which is cool i like the helmeted look i love the crest on his chest is all painted it's like a nice gold reflective paint to it but very just plasticky you know what i mean but it, it, when it comes to he-man origins i don't mind it i like the old-fashioned nature of these so i'm definitely digging these you get some nice head rotation out of the helmeted head and you can do all that he-man origins limb swapping toy gimmick that these uh, boast so that's cool i mean it, it you can create a lot of different combinations you can split them at the waist i like the little red gem on his belt i think that that looks cool very nice poignant piece of paint right there and then in swapping out the head i mean to be honest with you i <laughs> it's okay i think the more shielded face looks like the more optimus prime thing going on but just to show you the difference between the two i mean yeah the helmeted thing is cooler to me but i'm glad they included it because yeah you can do a more classic we forgot the painted mustache man at arms look but when you have man at arms himself and then you've got two palace guards now or just one i mean however many you want to get again i typically i don't 
army build. This was just the whole thing, how this worked out, which was wild. But I'm glad I have two because now if they do the skeletons and stuff, it would be kind of fun to have all these put together. But yeah, very cool. I think all the armor, everything goes together, and it's nice to have that differentiation between the three of them. And yeah, I put him with He-Man. He's leading the troops in a battle to battle Skeletor and whoever else. <laughs> God, Masters of the Universe is wackadoo, right? But these are cool extras. You know, have a big battle in front of Castle Grayskull and just have these guys in the background. I mean, you can even have them be true extras. You know what I mean? Like Walking Dead extras. Wink, wink. <laughs> so in either case, yes, this is a fun figure to have. Just, just to have one of them, you know, just have one of every figure if you're into the He-Man Origins. I think they did a good job. And I like that you can swap pieces and if you do go the army builder route, you can have the multiple heads and whatnot. I mean, they all look the same anyways, but you can remove armor, you can add armor. One guy's got left, one guy's got right arm. You know, you, know, you, you get what I'm saying. All the weapons fit. The heads are looking good. I really like the eagle on the chest. I think that's done well. Very minimal paint, if any. Very plasticky, of course. But again, that's the fun of He-Man Origins. And again, if you're interested in ordering, be sure to check out Entertainment Earth. Look up that Eternian Palace Guard. And I'll have a link in the description below if you'd like one. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to He-Man Origins, we just... Oh, I mean, we need those skeleton warriors now. I mean, that would be really cool. Deck them out, like multiple heads, and they got to be glow-in-the-dark. Absolutely, hands down, got to be glow-in-the-dark skeleton peoples. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.